So I'm playing Ovi, Ovi Koskinen, and her hero name is Portali. Um, she's Finnish. She's got like shoulder length auburn hair, uh, usually in a ponytail. Uh, she's 5'11", so she's she's tall, and like she's she's she is a harbinger. I should have started with that. So she's trying to adjust to the current fashion trends. Um, and so that's that's been a trial and error process. Um, and her costume has been designed by Seamstress since she's kind of been with Saber since she first got back to the past. And it's kind of designed to be a bit of like camouflage and illusion to direct eyes away from her. And she also has a tattoo on her wrist with the Saber logo that they use in the future as a scan card. Um, and I'm not sure whether it would be cool for that to work in the present. I'm not oh. sure if they've like changed scanner uh, stuff in the, the 50 years since I, her I, normal timeline. I have a feeling we're going to find out in a super dramatic moment. Yes, I'm about it. Um, and so her abilities is teleportation and portals. So over a short distance, like within her line of sight, she can teleport um, just because she can immediately visualize herself there and bam, she's there. Um, she can also do long distance with portals um, and she needs to visualize where she's going to. So it's obviously easier if she has been there before or seen pictures of it. So if she has no idea what the place looks like that she's trying to get to, it's not going to be that easy. Um, I love it. Yeah, I'm excited. And then her moves, there's applied history. So when you pierce the mask of someone you believe will shape the future, roll plus savior instead of plus mundane. And then 21st century studies. When you assess the situation, you may always ask, what does the future know about this moment, even on a miss? And I take plus one ongoing to act on the answers. Excellent. So uh, you want to jump into your backstory? Yeah. How did you travel from the future to the present day? So there was a team of researchers and in, in, uh, engineers that were working on a way to alter her portals to not just be traveling through space, but through time. And like once I think they, they had been generally just working on both space and time. But then once uh, Saber found her and her powers, they were able to be like, OK, no, we can shift all of our focus onto traveling through time since we have somebody who can make portals. So that sped that process along a lot faster. Okay. What keeps you from returning to the future? They didn't have time to perfect it. They were part of like a resistance network that were being heavily hunted. So they pretty much just had time to uh, do a couple tests over like sending her back only like a few days or weeks at a time. Um, and then just to do her final send off into the present. Um, the priority was just like getting her there, not getting her back. Excellent. I love that. Uh, why don't you have perfect recollection of the future? So humans are not meant to travel backwards in time. So I think that that was a pretty like traumatic experience on her mind and body. So it, her memory is kind of in shambles. And so she is much more able to remember what like her lived experience rather than like something she learned in a history class and remembers her emotions before facts. Okay, cool. What is the most important part of your, of your future that you'd want to avert? There is going to be a massive galactic war that we are going to cause and lose. And so she grew up in a society with humans as second class citizens on earth and that cannot happen. Okay, and I'm going to have you answer the last one um, once we introduce, like, the rest of the team. Okay, cool. I, um, I, like, I like the last one. Or do you have an answer for it already? Yeah, I do. Rock out, then. So this Saber mission of going into space is, like, the pebble that starts an avalanche. So the mission itself is not a problem, but the galaxy is already, like, teeming with enough conflict to boil over. And something is eventually going to send it over the edge. And in her timeline, it was us. So she wants to try to use this mission to do it correctly. I love that. That's yeah. phenomenal. I'm excited about it. Uh, anything you want to add or are there any questions? I also want to add that she is autistic and she's definitely having trouble in the past because it's a lot more stimulating 
than the future. It's just, it's brighter, it's louder, and it's also completely unfamiliar. Okay, excellent. Any other questions from anyone? Are you able to portal other people comfortably, or is that like a stretch of your powers? She, she can portal other people. Um, I think it's limited by how many she can do. Like, she, she could definitely, I think, comfortably get everybody on the team in through a portal. And the, the portals, if she can't really do that with teleportation, maybe like with one person if she's holding on to them. What's the most you've ever put through a portal at once? Like the biggest thing? Um, I think probably like machine equipment, like computers and stuff. Like I feel like when uh, in, in the future, when they were being hunted down, they had to change locations a lot. And so there was a lot of strain on her to like keep a portal open and everybody could just move stuff through. Awesome. I love it. Any other questions before we move on? Are your portals like supernatural or is it like a me- like mechanical thing? Is it like a skill or is it like a um, tool? It's, I guess, like supernatural magic. Um, it's all mental vis- uh, visualization for her. Like she's, she's picturing the place and the portal appears. Moon Harper Extended is part of the Icy New Year Presents Network and is produced by Anthony Sheets and T.P. Huth. Anthony can be found on Twitter at Icy New Year or at IcyNewYear.com. T is the host of Incubator On Air, a new play podcast available on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, and Google Play. She can be found at T. Huth Playwright on Twitter or T.P. Huth 94 on Instagram. This issue was GM by me, Anthony Sheets. Jet is played by EXP HP. You probably won't find him at It's EXP HP on Twitter, but it's worth a try. Mason is played by Simon Meskins. You can find him on Twitter as at Gilberecki. Portali is played by Elliot Peterson. She can be found at Elliot Yelen on Twitter. Stardust is played by T. Hugh. Our logo was designed by Beautiful Beasties. She can be found on Instagram at beastly.doodles or at patreon.com slash beautiful beasties. The music for this issue was Work by Kevin McLeod. A link to his license and site will be found in the episode notes. If you want to get a hold of us, email us at moonharborheroes at gmail.com or find us on Twitter at moonharborcast. If you enjoyed this issue, please leave us a review on iTunes and tell a friend. Word of mouth and five-star reviews are really the best way for us to keep bringing these stories to more people. If you'd like to support us financially, check us out on patreon.com slash moonharborheroes. Supporting us there will give you access to bonus episodes each month. And uh, thanks for helping us save the world. We'll see you next issue.